Okay, welcome. I'm going to teach you how to play Coldplay's new song titled Atlas. This is the first part that I'm going to teach you. So before I teach you um, these chords and uh, where exactly your hands are going, you first have to get this rhythm down. So uh, what you want to do is let's go ahead and take these first three notes. So your right hand thumb is going to start on C sharp, right? Here's middle C, C sharp, F sharp, and then an octave of C sharp, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to go in an even rhythm starting from bottom to top, breaking up th this chord. So get that going a little bit faster. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this rhythm in the left hand. What you wanna do in the left hand is hit three counts. You see how I'm going one, two, three. Okay, you wanna do that. That's the rhythm of the chords in the verse. So if you'd like, simplify things just to the right hand doing this with a single note in the left hand. Right hand cannot change. It's got to be even. Okay, you see, th that's just an exercise to get the rhythm down. Okay, so that's not the actual song. So practice that. Once you get that down, then you can play it like this. So the right hand is going to do just what I showed you. <coughs> Excuse me. The right hand is going to do uh, what I just showed you here. And then the left hand is going to hit this chord. Now, if your fingers are not big enough to hit this, start taking away uh, your top notes because you want to keep the bottom notes. That Those are the most important notes. So let's say you don't have big hands. Why don't you take away the thumb? And let's say you still can't reach that. Well, why don't you take away this one? And so you'll just be left with this. Okay, so if you cannot hit this full chord, then move it on down. Okay, here we go. Right hand's going to go. Right hand's now going to move to this. Left hand is going to move to this. So you're moving from here to here. Remember, if you can't hit this, take start taking away top notes. So let's see how it sounds without this one. See, it doesn't sound bad at all. Let's take away this one now. Doesn't sound quite as full, but I mean, you got to work with what you have. So if you have small hands and can't hit that, then um, just take it away. Okay, here we go. Okay, now moving on to the third chord, which is a B minor. Right hand's going to do this with the same rhythm. Left hand is going to hit a B and an F sharp. Okay, from the top. Okay, let me show you this chord. The right hand is going to go back to your original position, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. And the left hand is going to hit this. Okay, and remember what I told you. I'll tell you one more time. If you cannot hit this in the left hand, that's too far stretched. Just start taking away your top note. So hit that, or that, or that. All right. Um, so. Okay, here's the next chord. Right hand is going to go to an E octave. Throw a G sharp in the middle. So that's back and forth there. Left hand is going to go to this chord. Okay. Pause it on the blue application if I'm moving too quickly. And then. So this one, it's going to go to an E flat. 
an A flat and an E flat, okay? And it'd probably be best to write this all down, uh, especially the right hand notes. There's a lot of changes. I actually had to write it down myself. Usually I do everything by memory, but this song has so many chord changes um, that I have a little cheat sheet here. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, da, da, da. So uh, write it down. Um, I'll put the chords in the description. So let's move on to this A flat here. So E flat octave with a G sharp in the middle. Your chord in your left hand is this. Okay, this is the stretch that I did. Let me show you the right hand, F sharp octave with a C sharp in the middle. Now look at my left hand. That's a pretty big stretch. So if you can hit that, good for you. It's gonna be an E flat, a B flat, and an F sharp. And if you can't hit that, bad for you. <laughs> Take away the thumb if you need to doesn't sound bad at all, okay? Back to this C sharp, we've done this one already. Here's an E octave with a G sharp in the middle and then you're gonna go to C sharp minor. Then you're gonna go to this. G sharp, a B, and you're going to go in the right hand, same rhythm. The left hand is going to be an E, a B, and an E. Right hand's going to switch to this. A octave, C sharp. The left hand's going to switch to this. It's an F sharp minor. Moving back down. Just did this chord. Now on this chord, actually, it's not going to go four counts. Notice for all of these chords so far, I've done four counts. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh gosh, it's really hard to count. Anyhow, um, what we're going to do is we are going to half this count. Once I put the chords up, it'll make sense. It's going to be the second E, okay? So you're probably really confused as to where I'm at right now. Go and get the chords from the description, and it's the second E before the B over D sharp, which is a, this chord. Um, this is a weird chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up from where we left off, which is this E. Hold for half the counts that you've been holding. So you're going to go... Okay, so from this chord, you see that? You got that? So. Okay, so it's a D sharp in your left hand, F sharp with a C in the middle. Okay, that gives it a really off sounding. This is an augmented chord. It's these chords. Those are augmented runs, a lot of fun. So here's your augmented chord. Then you're gonna go to this in the right hand. Okay, we've done that one a couple times. E octave with a G sharp in the middle. Left hand's gonna go to a C sharp minor chord. After I did this chord, then what I did in the left hand is I went back to the first chord in the intro, okay? And I went like this. With my right hand, I came and hit an A flat octave. I went to a C sharp and then to an E flat. So, da, da. Then I went to this same chord. These are the intro chords. Okay, then I went to an F sharp minor in my left hand, and then right hand, same octaves. Okay, and then you build up. Then you're going to go into the chorus. Let's run through the verse one time. I'm going to play it slowly for you. I'm not going to teach it to you. I'm going to play it for you. Um, so it's going to go like this.
So from this B, I've taught you up to this point, and then we just have a little bit left, just the chorus, and then the song is done because it just repeats over and over. Okay, this is the coolest part of the song. So you're just gonna build up on this B right here. Okay, so you're gonna do that right there. To understand the patterns that help me quickly learn and cover songs here on YouTube, visit my site, improvpianotips.com forward slash products. There, you will find well thought out online tutorials that will help you unlock the simple secrets of chord piano. Before you purchase a tutorial, you'll see a demo video link that will roadmap what the lesson covers before you purchase the video. Wouldn't it be nice to listen to a song once or twice, musically understand what's going on, and teach yourself that song in one sitting? That's exactly what I do, and you can too, once you understand the simple secrets of chord piano. Now let's get back to the lesson. So the right hand's gonna go down low, here's middle C, right hand's gonna come down here, hit a C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. And then your left hand's gonna hit an F sharp bass. So you're gonna go one, two, three. See this top note? So. After you hit that, then you're gonna go. So one, two, three. And you're gonna go to that chord. So watch my right hand. One, two, three, and then these are just going to move down to here, and this one's going to come to here, so. Okay, when you hit this one in the right hand, the left hand's going to hit a C sharp, like that. So from the B, the end of the verse. more than three times but just mimic his voice I mean you could hit it two times or three or four just make sure it's mimicking his voice so okay when you hit that you're just gonna hold it and then you're gonna go to this chord okay this is an E chord here's an E chord what I like to do is I throw this middle note right here and then I add if you have a B on top, you can add a B on bottom just to fill up the chord. Okay, remember that, that's a cool trick. So remember, you could take a bottom or top note, you could take the B and add it down here, and that'd add to the E, or you can take this bottom note instead of the top one, this bottom one, and add it to the top. And that adds for fuller chords. For this song, we're gonna do this E right here. Okay, so B, E, F sharp, B, and then the left hand's gonna do an E chord. Okay, after you hit that, then you're gonna go. Okay, so alone, this is gonna go. You see what happened there? All I did was I took these notes and I pivoted around my middle note. My middle note does not change from these chords, so. Okay, and when you hit this, so a thumb and a B and F sharp in your left hand. So all together from the end of the verse. Okay, just like I showed you, right? And then you're gonna go. Once you've put in 15 years of piano practice, you can do what I just did right there. So the song will just repeat. I've showed you the verse and the chorus. Um, play accordingly, which means listen to the song, figure out how many times he does the verse and chorus. It's actually pretty repetitive, pretty easy. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. This is actually the first Coldplay cover that I have done um, ever. So um, I'm glad to have done it. They are awesome. I'm a huge fan. Uh, make sure and subscribe at the end of this video for new uh, songs that have just dropped. I do covers and tutorials um, of those songs. So if you like what you uh, were taught here 
And if uh, I'm not too annoying, then uh, maybe you should subscribe. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.